Something terrible could have happened. I'm sorry. Oh, oh you man, you thing. Dude, Look at that. That was a face. Oh. I just seen a face. Okay. Okay. I love you, Jenny. My microphone test. Always, always check. Can't tell you how many times in my life that I've pressed record, but I actually haven't. Check. What's going on, guys? Mr. Here. Hope you're staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. And welcome back to another spooky video, mate. Now, we've got a little little bone to pick, okay? Someone's been picking on me, okay? Not really, actually. I, I explained it back to them in the comments. Someone recently asked, why my limbs are so long? Why do I have such long limbs? I am very tall. That's the only reason why. They're not actually long. They're in proportion to the rest of my body. So yeah, that's why if you've ever been wondering, but I didn't want to ask, you didn't want to hurt my feelings just in case it did, which it didn't. Yeah, anyway, we haven't watched Nukes Top 5 in a while. It's one of my favorites, one of your favorites too. Used to be highly requested, but we started watching some Mind Junkie and some Depths of Despair and, you know, just walking into some other channels with some good content, but we are going back. Okay, we're going right back to Nukes Top 5. Okay, here we go, baby. So yeah, the video we're going to be watching on this fine evening is a top 10 crazy scary ghost videos okay pretty simple title just a little bit extra crazy okay it's gonna be spooky look at this already i haven't even pressed play okay that just looks creepy anyway if this video is too scary for you okay bring a friend or bring a dog or if you game enough you can just hang out with me oh yeah make sure to bring your water too okay stay hydrated doctor put me on this new toothpaste that's got like some extra stuff in it and he said uh you know don't eat or drink 30 minutes after what the doctor don't know won't hurt him. Been 26 minutes. All right, next top five, here we go. Top five ghosts. Let's do this. Paranormal enthusiast James White has a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings in Toronto, Canada. Okay. James is hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in 1860, and it is said to be extremely haunted. Mm. Now James White and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Oh. Let's do this. What? Is it a person? If so, give me a sign. Oh. Are they in this room? Oh yeah, they are. Is it um? Is it a male? Oh, oh are you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Little. They pulled him back. Shit. He got his chair to the back. Why did he get chair to the back? Oh, I did not move it. Oh. Something just pulled. Yeah. Wait, wait. Right. That was. Okay, I thought that we were seeing a ghost. That was a person on a chair that got pulled back. Oh my god! Like we got watch that again. Is it um? Is it a male? Oh, 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 oh. You can clearly see that he didn't do that. He can't push himself backwards. I don't care how big his legs are. If he doesn't miss legs day, he can't. Nah, that's it. watch this. It's not fast enough. That man got absolutely yanked. While in the middle of a seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair by an unseen force. Hmm. Is it a, um, is it a male? Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. The door behind me was open and um, I had my partner sitting beside me and we had the door, like the door was open behind us and we thought we heard something back there. Yeah. But nothing was there, so we turned, and I looked, and I saw nothing, mm. so I turned my head back towards the group, like the circle, and we're all holding hands, and then all of a sudden, I just felt like this force just come and pull me back, and it was like aggressive. Oh, like yeah. Aggressive. It wasn't like calm. It was aggressive, like it was trying to kill me or something. I don't even know. My feet were like flat on the ground. I wasn't moving. I believe you. I was you. holding hands with the people beside me and it just pulled me. And it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the just, chair and like ah. taking my shoulders and like pulling me towards the mirror. It was crazy. Towards the mirror. Is there a mirror on the other side of the room? Could this be a portal? Is there a portal? 
and he was in between it. They wanted him to go through it. Look at his face. I don't know. Anyway, I spooky man, I got goosebumps. Fellow participants and eyewitnesses from the seance took to Instagram to share their stories about the incident. Mm. One seance witness had this to say about the strange event. I sat across from him when this happened, and it was fantastic to see. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was Smitty Slim Shady. <laughs> I would have thought the same thing. Obviously, I, I would have been over there like, oh my God, are you okay? But in the back of my head, I would have been like, wow, that was cool, man. So did James White capture evidence of an unknown entity aggressively grabbing an innocent visitor at the Lambton house? I leave it up to you to decide. Okay, well, thanks for leaving it up to me. First of all, Usually when I see clips of people getting moved or thrown or anything, I just assume maybe someone's faked the clip because some things look weird. But this looks pretty convincing. What, is someone behind there with a big rope and they got three men behind it pulling it? Well, I don't know. If you're yanking it at that speed, it would probably break the chair leg. Leg of the chair. So I don't know. What do you think? That, that was pretty cool. Love it. Is it, um, is it a male? <laughs> Yoink. Get yoinked by a ghost. Scream. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. Okay. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run, run cold. cold. Dash cam video cut for time. Okay, okay. So it's not edited. It's just cut to cut out things oh she's got a white dress and it is bloody bloody mary excuse me you need help what the f that person's on drugs driver suddenly spots no, I'm, a woman I'm kidding. walking I don't know. all by herself in the middle of the night I don't know, maybe she, uh, sh I shouldn't assume that's really mean to me. He gets closer. He is horrified when he sees that the woman is covered in blood. She's worried for her safety, he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help. Excuse me, you need help. After which, she lets out a blood curdling scream. <laughs> what the f At this point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes. That's what I was thinking. Black sockets. Oh. Terrified by her reaction. Oh, wait, 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 no, look at this. Oh my god, look at that neck. Sorry, I'm talking really loud. Look at that fucking neck. Oh, you know those birds with their really long necks, like the water birds? I don't know, swans as well. Swans have it and they kind of just, they can just kink it like a hose. Look at that. Oh my god. It's like someone just placed an egg on top of like the middle of an elbow. Look at that. Elbow, egg. Fuck that. Something terrible could have happened. I'm sorry. Well, that's a neck. Only black sockets. Oh. Terrified by her reaction and appearance, the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. So just what do you think is going on here? And what would- Oh yeah, look at that fucking neck, mate! What you do in this same situation? <laughs> what the Hmm. The woman- See, I would have asked if she needed help as well. Because, first of all, she's walking on the side of the road. Looks like she's got no shoes, which is fine. But she's also got a bloody dress and she looks like she's had a terrible time. Ask for help. Scream at me. I don't know. I'd probably stay there and ask for help. Again. Scream at me again. Okay, that's fine. I'm pulling over. I'm going to call the police because you look like you need help. Okay? I don't know what you're trying to get away from, but I will help you. But if you've got a kinked neck and no eyes... Fuck out of here. The woman in white. Mm. Duke's top five viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. Okay. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. Mm. What happens next? Is it's truly chilling. chilling. Are you afraid? Okay, Amos going off. That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? This one, come here. Oh, I heard a noise, but I think it was a plane in the background. Are you gonna ask me if I did I see it? I this didn't. This is a private office. 
saying you can't go in there. No, I'm saying that it's open because we could. Did you see it? <laughs> Did you see it? I knew you were gonna ask me. No, I didn't see it. A woman who seems to be wearing a white gown can be seen standing behind the family. Oh. On the far side of the church, Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence. I thought this thing was someone hanging upside down. Okay. As she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. Wow. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Let me know what you think. I think it could be. What, what, who else is just gonna pop up there and just sit there and just hang out, you know, like randomly for a couple seconds and then disappear? Probably someone who was already there once upon a time, okay? You do gotta think about it though. Like a lot of the time, if you have places with a lot of history, you'll see the people who died there. It's like their trap stuck on replay. So I guess it kind of is like capturing a memory, but a bad one. Like if we take a photo of something, I'm recording this video, you know, I, I can always come back and see this day, this place and time. Is that exactly what it is? Do these things have these bad experiences and they're just replayed in real life at the spot? I don't know. You be the judge. Let me know what we got next. Let's go. The burial mounds. Ooh. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation. Okay. This time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds. Some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices. And some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. Yeah. Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. Let's do this, let's go. We're watching this together. Man, walking through these woods, I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. It's typically how you'd feel, oh, yeah. Anywhere. Bears, Bigfoot, ghosts, anything. Walking around my part of the bush, you also go watch out for stray crackheads. Those efforts will jump out at you and they, they, they will run at you. Okay. That sounded awfully close. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I thought I heard something behind me. Oh, you heard it. Hello? Who's over there? Let's get take a drink. I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. I, I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Oh no, you heard something, man! I heard it! Oh, hey! Oh, holy sh**! Mm. Okay. Mmm. Alright. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't know. I, I don't know. Before we continue this clip, I'm pretty... sure that i've seen clips from this guy and at first i thought his reactions and the way he talks made his videos fake but I, I, i'm not sure maybe like i talk weird sometimes and people probably think i'm lying or something i don't know it's just the way i speak but um i saw his hands kind of shaking i know you can make your hands shake you know but man the camera was shaking could be real who knows i don't know if i should try this but i'm gonna try walking backwards because i want to see what's coming up behind me okay <clears throat> Oh, there's gonna be something, isn't there? It's gonna pop right Honestly, out. I don't even like walking backwards because I don't know what's ahead of me. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Holy sh**. That scared me so bad. That was a man. That was a straight up voice. Yeah, a man. From thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. From solid lung. Do you hear that? It was from air. Hello? Out. Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud, indiscernible voice. Out. Out. He's now. He sounds like a Canadian saying out. I know I say it weird too. I'm not picking on it. It's just that's what I think it sounds like, even though I'm not that experienced. In a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. What happens next 
is oh. truly disturbing. Okay, Luke, I'm right, prepared. Here's mound number two. I'm actually not going to say anything this time. I'm actually just going to listen. Good idea. Me too. kinds of things over here it sounds like voices are we talking back so again now we're, we're talking again now a female voice can be heard <coughs> speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long involved conversation But it's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crowing River's edge. It just keeps building up. It's getting worse. It's getting heavier. Something's, he's going to die. You're going to die. Something truly <laughs> terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here. There is. Out in the wilderness. Yeah. Even Comfortable wilderness. Dark. Uh-huh. I can barely see 10 feet ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, comfy. <laughs> Holy shit. Just when I said it was fun being out here. Close call. Sure there was a goose back there, splashing in the water. Silly goose. Of all things, Ian's biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy sh! Those goose do be wild. Eventually, Ian finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. Mm. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next? is truly bizarre. Oh, I'm ready for it. <gasps> I didn't hear it. Okay. I just start talking. I sounded like a male voice. Could you speak again? <gasps> oh, you oh my God. man, you thing. Dude, Look at that. That was a face. Oh. I just seen a face. I didn't see. That I was just... a glowing face. I didn't see a face. I just saw a flash of white. I knew something was there and I just got spooked. Oh, it... but that was a big head. That's a big head. Oh my God. I cannot believe that. Dude, his face just appeared right there. Right there! Oh my god, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen! It's one thing to see a light, a mist, a, even a shadow, but a face? A face! Oh. It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits buried at the Crow Wing River? Let me know what you think. You mm. can watch this entire investigation. See, I'm going back to what I was saying at the start, you know, how I was saying some of these, the way he acts kind of seems a little too casual sometimes. Now, I know people act differently. People talk differently, people have different reactions, but I can't help but just think when I see a face like that, a big face just pop out for a second. You know, it hasn't popped out. It's it's just gone from invisible to visible for a second. I can't help but think that it, it could be edited. You know what I mean? Not dismissing it. Very interesting clips. Awesome. Great work, Midwest Ghost Hunter. I don't know if it's real, but it was interesting. What do you, what do you think? Do you think anything of it? Okay. The San Haven Sanatorium. New mm. Top 5 viewer Ricky and his sister Vicky set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunseith, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of these patients did not survive. This is a cool sanatorium. I, I don't mean, no, not like a, not good. There was a lot of deaths in there. But what I mean is, like, it looks cool. Okay. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. 
Mm. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. Yep. The San Haven Sanatorium is now known as a paranormal hotspot, and to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. Oh, they do a lot so, of the time. Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. They experience something downright creepy. I've seen a lot of videos on this, this sanatorium. Oh, come on, let me have that. Couldn't tell you. Come on, Ricky and Vicky. Yeah, this building's getting pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's the pipes. Hey, hey, hey. That wasn't you, was it? No. You think Vicky's limbs are as long as mine? No, the was not here. Sounds like someone's upstairs. It sounded like someone was on the ceiling, upside down, in your room. Upstairs. With the pipes. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. Pipes. I don't think so. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Hello. Where are you at? Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. Yeah. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. Plus, I think the water pipes would have, you know, been inactive for so long. I don't think there'd be any water th flowing through there. That would be dry as a bone. Maybe. I don't know. I don't work with buildings. Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to yeah. make it move. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. Is that you? The thing down the hall. Oh, of course. Okay, we're going into sanatoriums. Now we're going to dark houses with weird hallways. Great. That's what I love. I do actually love it. That's why I'm here. I want to watch it, but still. A group of friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. Mm. Okay, the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is instantly already real. Look at this guy in the back. Look at him. He is, he is down the hiding hall. behind his friend. He's scared. Look at his face. <laughs> oh. Nah, yeah, 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 get down there. You got the camera, you gotta, you gotta do it. Hola? Hay alguien ahí? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, you f oh, the What the f The guys are hesitant to look inside the bathroom, but when they do, something horrifying can be seen staring back at them. User Ain Holval shares the video to TikTok with the caption, what the hell was in my bathroom? Now, it's certainly very creepy, but- Hold on. I need a moment. <laughs> now, it looks fake, but got me, got me, have a look. Is this, that, that one, the, the, the hair, look at it. Is, I'm pretty sure it's actually swinging. Hell swinging hair, yeah, look, bathroom. it is. It's moving. Now, it's certainly very creepy, but is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You 
Yeah, I don't know. Look at that fucker. I told you about those stray crackers. They will pop out. They, you won't even know and they'll just start living in your house. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 that fucking scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry for swearing so much. Oh. You decide. Actually, they're going, ha, oh, oh. ha. But look at, look at this man. Ready? Watch him. Watch these feet. He is walking. Genuine? I don't know. It's just a really creepy video, but I don't think it's real. Intrigue. Okay. New homeowner and Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has been finding evidence that some kind of animal has been walking around his backyard late at night. Curious to see what kind of animal it might be, he decides to look through the footage recorded by his motion detecting security camera. But what he finds sends a chill down his spine. Mm. Just another one of those. During the soft rain, a translucent ones. figure seems to slowly walk through the backyard. Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has no explanation for this bizarre capture. He said he's genuinely intrigued. But what do you think this is? I don't know. As, as I've said in multiple videos, these ones don't get me that much. Like, they're interesting, but it's just not the excitement that I'm looking for. I look forward to the really spooky clips and the real ones that just actually give you goosebumps. And also some of the fake ones like the last one that just freak you the fuck out. But these ones don't do it for me. I don't know. Maybe they do for you. Do they? Holton Avenue. I don't know. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore Holton Avenue, an entirely abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Now it's unknown why the street was left abandoned, other than it sits in an incredibly dangerous neighborhood. Multiple bodies have been found on this street, and each of the deceased met their end under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. Mm. So dragging around his balls of steel, Chris Hill makes it his mission to record and document the abandoned buildings on Holton Avenue before they are demolished. All right. In the middle of the night, Chris begins his exploration at the abandoned First Hungarian Baptist Church. He soon realizes that he might have made a huge mistake. Let's see then. Got a little bit of coffee left. It's gonna happen. I don't have time to drink it. I could have swore I heard something. Animal? I think that's an animal. That's what I'm saying. Only one way to find out, mate. Get in there, mate. Take a peek. Three, two, one. Says camera, what are we looking at? What's upstairs? Multiple cameras, smart, good work. Go up there, Chrissy. Was his name Chris? I think so. As Chris is exploring yeah. the basement, he hears strange noises, but can't identify the source. Then a door above him on the ground floor just slams shut. Chris quickly makes his way upstairs to investigate. And what happens next? is downright creepy. Okay. So has he watched back the footage and knows this is the door that slammed or is he just investigating, you know, and this is just one of the doors he's close to that he's going to walk through. Oh no, he's scared. He knows this is the door.
Oh, don't you be in the ceiling. Oh, God. I bet you are, aren't you? What? What? Look up. Look up. Yeah, no, 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 no. Get out of there, Chris. The ceiling monsters. <laughs> Upside down crawlers. Uh, look up. Look around. You'll be dead. Come to town. So someone's written that in there. Okay. Somebody outside. Chris finds nothing and no one to explain why the door slammed shut. Mm. When reviewing his footage at home, he realizes that he captured more than he thought. And that that slammed faster than like a breeze slam. Like there wasn't like a build of momentum and then like a slam. It was just like a boom. A 4K static camera that he placed inside the church's chapel reveals that something seems to move towards the door mm. just before it slams shut. Another static camera shows something pale and translucent moving around the pews while Chris is in the room. Strange, eh? But that's not all that Chris captured that night. Ooh, because crazy. after a thorough walkthrough of the church, Chris decides to check out one of the abandoned houses on Holton Avenue. Okay. It did not go well oh i can imagine oh yeah don't go down there why would you do that listen the reason i wouldn't go down there is because if i need to escape the only thing it can grab is my legs while i'm going out i don't want you to grab my legs the thing will pull you straight back down Find a body down here. <laughs> it actually looks like it's just underneath the house. It's yeah, not yeah. In the basement. Yeah, yeah. Still creepy. Oh yeah, watch those legs. Watch those legs. Oh, the curtain up or against that door. It could be a squatter in there. Someone, someone could be in there, okay? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Sorry. a... It's a man. I didn't know nobody lived there. <sighs> Isn't it funny just standing there and the man's like, what are you doing? He's like, Sorry. <laughs> While checking out the house's basement, Chris hears movement on the floor above him. Freaked out by the sound, he quickly starts making his way out of there. But there's someone inside with him, mm. peeking out from behind a curtain. Yeah. The man seems to be living in the abandoned home. Yeah. Chris knows the horrifying stories of the people who met a tragic end on Holton Avenue. So he quickly just gets out of the house. Now it is dangerous. It's always dangerous to be around I guess everywhere is dangerous these days, but yeah, the, the the man in there that's living in there is probably not going to kill you, but he's probably wondering why the fuck you're in his house, and he's probably a little bit pissed off. But it's probably not the people who, uh, probably not the man who made people mysteriously disappear in that area. And with that, Chris has had about enough. Mm. He decides to just head home. Now, for obvious reasons, I advise everyone watching this to just stay away from Holton Avenue. Oh yeah, he's got a bat. I mean, he's probably not trying to hurt. He's just obviously got a bat because who is in this house with him? I better grab my bat. Someone's trying to steal my stuff. Someone's in the house. I don't know if they're gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? I'm sweating. Anyway, free fall. what we got? TikTok free user Jalen Rich is hanging out with a friend on the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California a little after closing time. Yeah. Something happens that freaks them both out. Okay. okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. This is scary. Where the the one time my best friend and I saw a ghost on the double shot at the Santa Cruz boardwalk. Boardwalk. We were there after hours and the ride suddenly started going and watched closely. Okay. Okay, I'm really bad at this. There's no one's on Wait, there's someone on that. Is there? Oh yeah, there was someone on okay, the I totally saw someone. 
Someone appears to be seated on the Santa Cruz boardwalk free fall ride. As Babushka, look at her. She's got her thing. You know the Babka. Is that what they called them? I don't know. Am I being like disrespectful? Even though the ride is supposed to be closed, but then whoever or whatever it is seems to disappear into thin air. It looks like they duck and have their arms, but it kind of does look strange to Elon explains that both she and her friend saw someone sitting on the ride and have no idea how to explain what happened. Now, the Santa Cruz boardwalk opened in 1907 and has seen at least three confirmed fatal accidents over the last 116 years. One rumor even states that a park visitor tragically broke their neck on this very ride. Mm -hmm. So could it be that Jalen captured the spirit of someone who never made it out of the park? They do kind of disappear, don't we they? Decide. Not just duck. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think of that? Not the scariest, but strange because there has to be an operator, right? Or do you just hop in, press a thing and there's like a delay and then it starts going. I don't know how they work. I don't operate these things. What we got next? Nuki Nuke. Followed home. Mm. TikTok user Francisco Javier claims that strange things have been happening at his home in Spain after exploring an abandoned farm he came across one day in the middle of nowhere. Okay. He says that the farm is a place of intense paranormal activity. Vale. Que no sé, tío, que está por aquí. Creo que está por aquí. Hola. Escúchenlo. What happened? Ahora sí me lo hizo detrás de mí. Door slam shut behind me. Okay. Francisco is recording at the farm when a door slams shut right behind him. After his days exploring the farm, he believes that something might have followed him home. Could have. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonidos desde el baño muy raro. Raro. Estoy solo en casa. Oh, no, no, is it stopping at three? Oh, it stopped at three. Okay. Yeah, you can be. Get in there. Get in there, whip that light on, boy. Oh, no, not behind the shower curtains. Who... Whoever invented shower curtains really did everyone dirty. Go and kick it, punch it. No, don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Francisco believes that he might be dealing with multiple entities as he begins to hear taunting voices, laughing, and even the sound of intense crying in the night. Mm. Oh, no. It sounds like a goat. Oh wait, that would be evil then. I don't know why I'm pointing at you. It's your fault. Oh! It's a kid's room. The chilling sound of a baby crying sends Francisco off to search his entire apartment, but he finds nothing to explain the sound. Mm. Another night, and things escalate to another level when Francisco's oh. Amazon Alexa begins. Sorry if this interferes with my microphone. It is getting really hot in my room with these lights on and stuff, so turning on my fan, turning it up more. We're almost done the video anyway. It's to behave very strangely. Okay. And absolutely terrifying. Alexa me da un susto de muerte. Hola. Did you say hola? Go to the wall oh, now. Nah. Alexa Europe. 
Qué susto. Francisco says that his Alexa is disconnected, yet it calls out in Spanish, Go to the window. Oh. I want to see you. Ah. Well, go to the window, please. I want to see. And that's not the only time that this happens. I've never bought an Alexa, never will. Siri on my phone's disabled when I had my Android recently before this iPhone. The, the hey Google thing that's disabled, everything. Nah, don't want it. Nothing to do with it. Never. Why? Because it's weird. Oh, yeah. oh. A female voice coming from the Alexa laughs out loud but then stops as soon as Francisco comes around the corner. Then an entirely different, lower and creepier voice calls mm. out, Hola. 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 <laughs> Francisco has had enough, but he has no idea how to stop the terrifying activity. He tries to continue living his life as if nothing has happened. But then one night when he's hanging out just watching TV, oh no, this happens. Okay. Mm. Okay, hold on. I don't want to say it's fake, but what do you mean? It's does it sound like if someone's knocking or is it just me? I think everyone would just know that it's knocking. You shouldn't have to ask that question. Unless like you're trying to get people to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No puede ser. Clearly was knocking. Oh, 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 hey, hola. Hola. He's on his way. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Francisco is startled by knocking coming from his hallway door. Mm. When he stands up to check it out, he spots what appears to be a small child looking in through the window. Yeah. Shocked by what he's seeing, he quickly opens the door only to find no, no one, one there. there. Whoever or whatever this is has disappeared. So did something follow Francisco home from the abandoned farm that he explored? Uh, I don't know, but because there was a clip where he had a kid's room and uh, you've never seen a kid in any other clip. Could that have been his kid? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I, <laughs> you be the judge, okay? I'm just here to watch and share my opinion sometimes on ones that I feel like need my opinion shared. Okay. Could it even be multiple spirits? And if you were in his shoes, just what would you do? Change shoes. Because I've got long limbs, long feet, big legs everything unless he's got big shoes too then i would probably get out of that house well anyway that was the video hopefully you guys enjoyed i've been enjoying making these videos again i know i've been away for a while okay but if you didn't see the last video the one directly before this one okay it was something a bit different and let me know if you enjoyed it it, it, it was pretty badly underperforming at the start it wasn't like you know not many of you were clicking on it which i, I don't mind but that just tells me that people aren't as interested but then it started picking up quite a bit so if you watched that and you enjoyed it and you want more, you know, let me know down in the comments. I'll make more of that stuff. In fact, go and comment on that video and let me know. And then, yeah. Because, yeah, I like all sorts of things interesting. Not just the spooky stuff like this. Not just the ghost. I like all sorts of spooky stuff, okay? So, be cool to make some more videos and, you know, hang out with you and watch them and share some thoughts. But, yeah. Anyway, with that being said, this is the video. That's all done. Some very spooky stuff there. I'll see you next time.
okay anyway with that being said stay happy healthy and especially hydrated because hydration is for the health without water what do you have good night